you know, and, and recap in uh, Rutgers, I'll say this again, that this is, if you were a college football fan, it was a, uh, it was a great game to watch. If you had a vested interest in it, on the South Florida side, it was a very difficult game to watch. I, I keep using the word frustrating because we seem like we're so close, but yet we just can't get over that hump. We're right there, there's seven minutes to go. It's 17-3, you're feeling pretty good about it, um, and you end up finding a way to lose the game. It was uh, frustrating. Really impressed with the way we played defensively. I think it was probably one of our best <coughs> games defensively, really, when you take outside of the two opportunities to make an interception and the two-minute drive, I think it's probably about as well as we have played a defensive football game really since I've been here. You give up minus seven yards rushing. Uh, I thought some guys just had some outstanding performances. I love the, the energy, the passion, the excitement that our defense played with, the way we gang tackled, ran to the ball. There was a number of times there was a pile of white jerseys uh, around the ball, guys flying over the top. I just was really excited about the way we played defensively. I thought we played an outstanding game defensively and offensively for going up against a team that was, as I talked about last week, they were top two in almost every statistical category in the league going into it and to rush for 221 yards and to control the ball the way that we did against a blitzing style uh, defensive football team. I thought we played a very solid game from an offensive standpoint. One of the things we wanted to do was control the ball and not get into a lot of turnovers, a lot of three and outs, and those type of things. We put some good drives together. We're able to move the ball and change the field position a little bit. And I thought uh, offensively, we did an awful lot of good things. Penalties weren't an issue. We got a lot of those things corrected. Unfortunately, uh, special teams were poor. Special teams were poor. and. It's unfortunate because we spend as much time here on special teams as anywhere I've ever been. We probably spend almost an hour a day of our time with meetings and practice time on special teams. And to go out and make some of the mistakes that we made in special teams are uh, they're unexcusable uh, to go out there and make some of the mistakes that we made. With everything riding on a football game like that in a close game, riding on the big chunks of field position that exchange in special teams, to do what we did was, was unfortunate because it took away some great individual efforts uh, by a lot of members of this football team on offense and defense. If you look at it, we, we turned over the ball on about the 10 yard line. Fortunately, our defense only gave up a field goal in that situation. We gave up a touchdown for seven points. We only averaged 30 yards a punt with nine punts. That's not, uh, we lost a lot of yardage in the field position battle with our punting game. And we missed two field goals, especially the last one on the 10-yard line, right in the middle of the right in the middle of the goalpost, with the opportunity to win the game. It's just un it's just unfortunate with the way our special teams play, because so many guys did play just incredible games. Uh, they played their, their their attitude, the way they competed, their energy, their confidence, which everybody right now would think would be broken, losing three conference games. But I thought they went out and they played the game with passion and excitement and energy and even confidence playing on the road. I was really proud of the way the team competed. We just made too many mistakes. Injury-wise, uh, Armando Sanchez right now is out with an ankle. Don't know whether or not he'd be questionable for this week. And uh, Daryl Scott right now with, uh, with his wrist and his head. We just don't know how that's going to go. Um, with all the testing, he'll be held today. And we'll just have to see as that progresses along the week on whether or not he's going to have the opportunity to play this weekend. But Bravo Brown should be back to full strength this week. And Rashard Clyatt, we will get back. There's still a number of guys that are out that we're having to overcome. But we are starting to get some guys back with an AJ Love coming back last week and playing about 38 plays. And Bravo Brown doing some really good things for us. Uh, so we get on to Syracuse on a short week. This is